desktop machine, which is a Z77, uh, running Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, actually, Rapid will run on any um, Windows 7 or Windows 8 system. Um, this configuration is uh, using 8 gig um, DRAM, and we actually have three storage elements, uh, three storage devices on this system. All of them are Samsung 840 EVOs. The first one is uh, the primary OS drive, which is the one terabyte drive. And so Mr. Kim um, is highlighting the Samsung one terabyte drive here um, through the uh, Magician GUI. And so that was announced earlier today. Um, very, very large capacity, the very first of its kind, um, and uh, an incredible, incredible device. On top of that, we have two other storage devices. One which is an EVO, um, an 840 EVO, it's 250 gig SSD, and an identical device, 250 gig SSD as well. Um, one of which is accelerated with Rapid, and the other one is natively uh, connected to 6 gig SATA port. Actually, both of them are connected to a 6 gig SATA port. So what we'll do is uh, drop down to the, the Rapid mode um, setting, and you can see up there we have already enabled uh, Rapid mode. And it's, yep, highlight right there. And so what we will, would like to do is uh, do a quick and dirty benchmark. And as Jonathan mentioned, we have a benchmarking tool as part of the magician. And so we will first run a benchmark um, against the native unaccelerated SSD. And maybe you guys can give us a, um, a hand and uh, let's give uh, Mr. Kim an indication on when to, when to go. Maybe we can count one, two, three, go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, and so this will take about 20 seconds. What it does is it runs a uh, set of sequential, sequential writes followed by sequential reads, and then random writes followed by random reads. Okay, and so this is uh, almost complete. And I can't see up there, but looking over Mr. Kim's shoulder here, uh, you'll see that uh, this matches the spec, it actually exceeds the spec, the rated spec that we have um, that we have published um, with uh, today's launch. And so, very, very impressive, right? Uh, this is, you know, nearly exceeding the, or nearly matching the uh, six gig throughput of the, uh, the SATA port um, at about 540 megabytes per second on the reads and 520 megabytes per second on the, on the writes. The next step, what I'd like to do is actually see what Rapid can do. So maybe I can get some help again. One, two, three. One. Okay, and so now we're running Rapid, and uh, let's see what we get with the performance here. And maybe, um, Mr. Kim, can you scroll down so we can see both results? Ah, so we've got the sequential reads that sequential writes improved just a little bit, right? So sequential read, we actually doubled, okay? So this is at, uh, I don't know, what do you say? Do you say 1,000 megabytes per second or one gigabyte per second? Okay, so that's, that's, that's quite impressive, right? This is, this is, you know, way beyond what the SATA 6 gig port can do, okay? That kind of gives you an idea of what, uh, what Rapid can do. And uh, we've got some other scores here, which is, uh, which is pretty impressive. But let's go into um, Crystal Disk Mark. So with the, with the, uh, the randoms, uh, this is kind of a, a smattering of different, uh, different uh, size packets and, um, and QDEPs. So let's go to Crystal Disk Mark and run a Crystal Disk Mark spec, um, benchmark against, uh, against the raw drive. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so this will take about a minute. And uh, what's nice about the Crystal Disk Mark, and I think everyone in the audience has probably played with it or seen uh, articles, uh, reviews, this is essentially the bread and butter of, uh, of figuring out you know, the corners of the uh, storage performance. And so what we have is the um, sequential reads followed by sequential writes on top. 
um, and then it will go into the 512 reads and writes. So this is again, you know, matching up exactly with uh, what um, what has been published um, in our in our material. Okay, now this is the, the 512. And um, now we're starting 4K random reads um, at a Q depth of one. And how many people know the difference between Q depths one and 32, for example? Any hands? Oh, we got some. Oh. Good, good. So do you, you guys are the techie ones. You guys can come up here and give the, give the pitch. <laughs> well, the, the main difference between, um, and actually for, for Windows environment, there's, um, there's a lot of traffic that happens at the Q depth uh, of one and um, at smaller, um, smaller chunk sizes, right? And the main uh, activity there is really Windows doing a lot of background work, um, doing little uh, writes and little modifies to, to different files. And that typically is what will cause your PC to run and stutter run and stutter, okay, and so that is kind of an indicator of, you know, you need a better storage solution. And of course, um, you know, what uh, Jonathan shared with you earlier today, uh, at Samsung, we are really focused on making sure that your random write performance, your random read performance is uh, improved. And so this is showing, you know, we are getting, um, you know, 40 uh, megabytes per second, which is close to uh, 10, 10 k IOPS, and then um, and then the, the writes are 140 uh, megabytes per second, and so this is a pretty dramatic improvement from the previous um, previous generation. Okay, so this is these are all good numbers, um, and that is what we have uh, have shared already. So, what do you think? Should we take a look at uh, the Evo with uh, with Rapid Enable? Okay, so ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> okay, and, uh, and now we'll see, we'll, we'll see what Rapid can do. Okay, and so uh, a few things to, to note first is that Rapid technology includes several different technologies inside. One of which is uh, read acceleration. The second is um, write optimization. And read acceleration is really, um, actually let me scroll forward real quick. Read acceleration is technology that we have created to help manage um, the, the, uh, the system resources in your in your PC a little bit better. So what we have found through um, through different tests and through uh, work with uh, with um, with different user groups is that uh, a lot of PCs are overspecced in terms of CPU and DRAM, and um, and so. What we can do is, but it is under spec in terms of storage, right? And so that's where SSDs come into play. 